Hello darling, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. So I have a question for you. If you break your leg, what will the doctors do in order to fix a broken leg? Yep, they're gonna put a cast on it. Yep, they're gonna tell you not to move it. Absolutely. If you break your arm, pretty much the same thing, right? When something is broken and we wanna fix it, what we do is we make it, we say, okay, you can't use it because your body knows what to do. There is an internal system that is actually that is divine because your body knows how to heal itself because when they put the cast on your leg, they don't tell the leg, you know, how to rebuild the bone. Do they? No. Mm -mm. No, they, it's like, okay, just keep it still. And there's an inner wisdom, a divine wisdom, that is a part of your design that once you stop moving your leg, your leg will heal itself. Is that correct? So let me talk about the mask. So we're, you know, humans are wearing masks, we're wearing masks, and we're being asked to be quiet. Why? Because we are healing our throat chakra. The throat chakra includes your throat, your thyroid, your mouth, your teeth, your tongue, right? So when you ask a person to be quiet, you're asking them to go within to tap into their inner voice, their inner wisdom, their inner truth, what is divine, what is universal, not to look outside, not to trust the media, not to trust you know, what they think they are seeing, but to know what they are seeing. So this is what this is what the mask really symbolizes, and I know there's there's like a cultural war. Some people think the mask sim symbolizes censorship and um, taking away our freedom, but what they don't understand is that when you tell a being uh, to be quiet, you are telling a being to tap into their inner truth, their inner voice, their inner wisdom, and their inner power, and when that power gets in touch with your higher self you will express your truth and that expression can be in the form of singing dancing marching <laughs> there are a variety of ways but that truth must come forth and people don't tend to care about the consequences when they are tapped into their divine truth so it's just so funny that this this mask that covers our face which people think is, um, some people say, look, you can't come in my restaurant with a mask. Some people say you can't come in my restaurant without a mask. I mean, there's like a big war. Um, when our throat chakra is out of balance, we tend to, we don't listen when other people are talking to us. We can't, we're, we, ha we lack the ability to, um, to, of discernment, to know the truth, to hear the truth. Sometimes people are like super shy, or they talk too much, or they talk too little. That's when it's um, when your throat chakra is out of balance. But when your throat chakra is in balance, darling, and it is healing, and it is tapping into your inner force, you will see what is happening around the world. This is a direct reflection of the healing of the throat chakra, the fifth dimension, this is the fifth chakra of humanity. That is exactly what is happening. If you think about monks, they're quiet. Do you remember the movie Eat, Love and Pray? Eat, Love and Pray, what is she, remember that time she went through a time when she was like, you know, silent? Okay, silence, man, when a person goes within, that's where your power lies, when you tap into an inner truth something that's bigger than you that's why the yogis do it that's why the monks do it a lot of spiritual like the sisters or i don't know if they're called nuns anymore but you'll find a lot of people when they are looking when you meditate what do you do we're asking you to do what be quiet yes darling be quiet because being quiet allows you to tap into your truth and your truth is a powerful force it must express itself in its most authentic and raw way without any concern about the consequences of the expression of real divine truth. So, when you see a mask, I just want you to remember 
that what is happening in society is that people are waking up. And I wanted to say one more thing. You know, long before the mask, I know some people are saying, but I can't see people. Listen, darling, we stopped listening to each other a long time ago. People have been tapped out on their cell phones, texting, talking. I mean, like sometimes I see a lot of people and I, I'll see them and I want to say, hey, oh my God, I love your hair. Or, oh my God. And they're just like, they have their headphones in, they're on their cell phones. We have stopped looking at each other a long time ago. We've been tapped into social media. We've been aloof from our truth, from our inner truth, right? And wearing the mask is forcing humans to actually want to look at each other again. So I just want you to look at that the mask is actually a bend, um, a cast on our mouths to give us a, a, a moment to be quiet so that we can actually not see what the media wants us to see or what other people want us to see. We see the truth, baby. That's, that is what this mask is all about. And, that is, and the mask is a symbol of the revolution that is taking place on planet Earth right now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.